Meantime, an Indianapolis girl is reflecting on her time in Israel. She was there on the day Hamas terrorists attacked the country. News 8's Adam Pinsker joins us now live with her story. Adam? Yeah, Garrett, 16-year-old Sophie Maurer studies at a private boarding school in Israel. Her phone and many of her friends' phones started going off early on the morning of October 7th, followed by air raid sirens. Although Sophie and her classmates weren't harmed in the attacks, others close to them were killed. Twelve hours before Hamas attacked Israel, Sophie Maurer stood just yards from the Gaza-Israeli border. There was something in the air that day that just didn't feel right, and there were so many times where... I felt very uneasy. I felt very unsure of what was going on. That night, Sophie slept through the sirens, but when her friend woke her up, she had 35 text messages on her phone from concerned family and friends. My friend, was on, who was on the couch with me, she woke up, and they were talking about how um, terrorists just infiltrated the border communities and Tel Aviv is getting bombed. Although Sophie and her friends were far enough inland from Gaza that they were not attacked by the terrorists, a close friend of hers, the mayor of the border town of Sha'ar Hanagev, Ophir Lipstein, was killed in his home by the terrorists. Ophir was an amazing person. He was someone I looked up to. He was someone who I strove to be. Ophir traveled to Indianapolis and met with Governor Holcomb last summer on a trade mission. In Israel, Sophie says Ophir was an advocate for peace between the Gazans and Israelis. I remember when he stood on the hill and he pointed to an empty space of land and he said, one day I have a dream. Gazans and Israelis will work together. Sophie was able to carry out her studies during the height of Israel's retaliation against Hamas and feel safe living there. People of Israel are really strong. Israelis are really strong. The soldiers who are fighting in Israel, a lot of them are 18, and they're doing everything they can to help the country. After returning to Indianapolis briefly in December, Sophie went back to Israel and says she will finish out the school year there. Adam Pinsker, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook for updates.